Hello Virgo, welcome to a bonus love reading. In this reading, we're gonna be looking at the person that you are thinking about or connecting with or will be connecting with. What are they thinking or feeling about you? And what are their next actions going to be? As always, this is a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Virgo watching. So take what resonates, leave the rest. Um, check out your playlist as well. I'll have that linked in the description box. Um, there's so many videos that I have for Virgo. Oh, okay, what happened there? <laughs> All right, uh, starting off strong. Let me get myself together here. Start for Virgo. It's gonna be just a short and sweet reading just to get an uh, idea of your person's energies. Spirit, tell me about Virgo's person, the person that Virgo is connecting with at this time. What do we need to know about what they're thinking or feeling when it comes to Virgo? What are they thinking or feeling about Virgo at this time? Oh, King of Pentacles, okay they thinking or feeling I think they see you as yourself what are they thinking or feeling about Virgo okay we have the devil Capricorn energy interesting these are two kind of opposing energies so you might be dealing with something Virgo that is a bit unhealthy or a bit restrictive yeah I feel like this person when they think about you they think about you being single or being free of whatever this devil energy is. Let's see if I'm right about that. Can I get some insight about this King of Pentacles? What's this King of Pentacles doing here? Five of Swords. Okay, you're definitely dealing with some sort of conflict here, especially with this devil energy. And then we have the Four of Pentacles. So I, the word I heard was careful needing to be careful protecting yourself against whatever this is now this is what your person's thinking or feeling about you so i feel like because the king of pentacles is here i mean they could be this king of pentacles energy but i'm thinking that they're viewing you as the one that's dealing with this flip it if it resonates more but this is what i i'm feeling strongly for a lot of you you're dealing with a situation, I feel, where you're needing to be guarded or protective because of the situation at hand. Can I get some more insight? Yeah, Seven of Swords. I feel like this is what this King of Pentacles is dealing with. Maybe you need to be extra clever, extra strategic right now um, in order to get something done. I have the Emperor at the bottom of the deck here because of this devil energy whatever this is can you tell me about this devil spirit why is the devil here eight of pentacles what's this devil about what can you tell me about the devil okay why is the devil here yeah someone's trying to figure out how to get something done here Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. Hmm. Tell me more. Tell me more for Virgo, please. Capricorn energy with this. Yeah, there's something going on. We have the Five of Wands that came up. I don't know what is going on here. <laughs> Feel free to let me know in the comments if you're dealing with some drama, Virgo. Or if you and this person being together, if it's causing some drama, uh, I can see that being the case as well. Um, I feel like someone's trying to figure out what to do with this. The conflict, the dis you know, there could even be deception here. Someone keeping something to themselves, secrets, mystery, toxic attachments or energies here. Maybe there is one specific person that is, um, causing confusion i'm seeing that um drawing attention to themselves causing unnecessary drama 
What's this Nine of Pentacles about? Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Four of Wands. Stability. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, stability is what I'm seeing here. Interesting, I have the King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles as well, a pair that has shown up here. I'm gonna get one more for the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Cups, this is what someone wants. It's almost like someone wants, remember what I said earlier in the reading, it's like they want you to be free of whatever this is. And it's almost like if that was the case, there could be stability, um, there could be harmony, a wish granted, and I have the lovers at the bottom of the deck, yeah, like a union, a partnership, um, or perhaps someone would have the ability to make a choice based off of what they truly feel or want to do. Let's get some more insight. I'm using my Stellar Energy Oracle deck, all of the decks that I use are linked in the description box along with the rings that I'm wearing, my book, Love Tarot Made Easy, my website and information about personal readings, that's all in the description box. Spirit, tell me more about this person's energy, this person that Virgo is dealing with. Tell me more about their energy, please. Wow, we have a love letter, a message, confession, response. A message is on its way. This person has something to tell you. Can I get one more? Maybe they're responding to you as well. I do see that. Can I get more information about this person's energy, please? Balancing act, juggling indecision balance. Okay, so this person might have um, a lot going on or they're, they're making a choice and telling you about it. I see that as well. Um, I feel like this person you know, they could be feeling jerked around here, Virgo. I don't know why I'm getting that. Almost like they're they're being pulled in different directions. This is my secret moon oracle deck. Spirit, can I get some more insight into what this person is thinking or feeling about Virgo at this time? You are my soulmate. Can I get some more insight into what they're thinking or feeling about Virgo? I want forever with you. Yeah. So that's this energy here that I was picking up. Um, they want a future with you. And I feel like that could happen if only there wasn't whatever this is down here. So let's see, what are their next actions going to be? Because I feel like they um, either, and you know, for a lot of you, I'm picking up that the action is more on your part, but let's see if they're gonna communicate at least, because I do see that here or, or something else. Spirit, tell me more about this person. What are their next actions going to be towards Virgo or this connection? What are their next actions going to be towards Virgo? or this connection. Three of Cups coming together, reuniting, meeting up. What are their next actions going to be? Oh, okay. Yeah, there's the Ace of Swords. With the Eight of Swords, interesting. It's okay, I heard hands tied. So this person, if, yeah, and then the Three of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this is someone that their hands are tied at, up to a certain point regarding this connection. There's only so much they can do. They might even be fearful about communicating. Can you tell me about this Ace of Swords? What's this about? Page of Swords. Okay, so this is a very uh, direct conversation here, an important conversation. And, it, and it's about whatever's in the way here. Yeah. So why the Eight of Swords? Why the Eight of Swords? They could be feeling like they're caught between a rock and a hard place because of whatever this is. Why the Eight of Swords? Six of Swords. 
by the eight of swords and it could be that they might not be able to oh okay interesting maybe they fear that opening up this conversation might cause you to leave the connection or run away or maybe they are thinking I feel like they want to talk to you about a departure that you have to make a decision a decision that you have to make tell me more about this three of cups why is this three of cups here five of wands this could be a third party situation for some of you interesting can I get one more for this three of cups two of wands yeah I feel like if this is a third party situation um, one of you has to make a choice it doesn't even have to be um, another partner I feel like it could be a, a parent or um, um, a specific person in like a family or a group Can I get one more for the Three of Cups? Yeah, Two of Pentacles. That's what this is about. Someone has to make a choice here, a decision, and then they have the Fool at the bottom of the deck. To begin anew, to take a risk, to choose. I feel like they're gonna, there's gonna be drama no matter what someone chooses or does. Um, I feel like there's the conversation that will take place here I don't know it could be an ultimatum it could be you know deciding what exactly is going to happen here um, now this is supposed to be a person's next actions I feel like that's going to be communication because I think right now they feel like there's nothing that they can do but communicate because of whatever's in the way the interference is I feel like the interference has to be addressed. All right, Virgo, I'm gonna leave it there. Hopefully this quick bonus reading resonated for you. If you enjoyed the reading, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing, leaving me a comment as well if you'd like to tell me if it resonated for you or you just wanna say hello. Uh, thank you so much to everyone who supports the channel and participates, I really appreciate it. And hopefully I'll see you in another video very soon. Take care.